Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you should train if you wanna train strictly for aesthetic purposes. Of course, strength training is also important, but that's for another video. Today, I'm gonna give you guys six tips if you wanna train for aesthetic, and the last tip is definitely the most important one, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. So, enough talking. I hate when people do long intros in YouTube videos, so I won't do it neither. But first, drop a like and subscribe. I'll give you five seconds. Done? Okay. Tip number one. If you wanna grow your arms, you have to focus on your triceps. We hear it all the time, we see it all the time. People, when they wanna grow your arms, they just see them doing constantly bicep curls every single day in the gym. That's not wrong, but as I said, if you wanna grow your arms, you have to focus on your triceps. The triceps make up two thirds of your arms. It's the biggest muscle in your arm. So obviously, if you wanna make your arm look bigger, you have to grow your tricep. The tricep has three heads, long, medial, and lateral. Now, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite exercise for every single head. For the medial head, my favorite exercise is close grip bench press. This one, you can go pretty heavy, so maybe you could use it as the first exercise when you have triceps. Focus on really stretching the tricep. When you go down, stretch it as much as possible every single rep. For the long head of the tricep, my favorite exercise has to be school crusher. Probably the best exercise for triceps overall. Two things for this exercise. First, make sure you stretch as much as possible the tricep on the negative. And second, when you go up, never extend completely your elbows. Stop right here and then go back down. And for the lateral head, my favorite exercise is rope push down. This one, I will use it as a finisher on your triceps day. Make sure the intensity is very high. You can also put some drop sets here and there. So yeah. These are my favorite exercises for triceps, so you can hit all three heads. So yeah, tip number one, focus on your triceps instead of your biceps. Tip number two, don't neglect your rear delts. As you know, your shoulders have three parts. Your front delt, your lateral delt, and your rear head. And a lot of you all, a lot of people in the fitness community are used to skip the rear delt, which is this one. Now, this is a big mistake for a few reasons. The first reason is that having a big rear delt helps a lot in giving the shoulder that 3D look. It makes it look like a tennis ball, but if you neglect it and you don't train it, that shoulder is not gonna have that 3D look. The second thing that helps a lot with training them is your posture. Since they are on the back of your delt, every single exercise for the rear delts is gonna force you to have a good posture while doing them. Finally, having big rear delts, they can help you a lot on developing your back. Especially when you hit the double back bicep, having big rear delts make your back look even bigger. It will give it that V taper that we all want. My favorite exercise for rear delts is chest supported rear delt rows. This one is great because with your chest supported on the bench, it excludes any type of cheating. Trust me, the burn is insane. Try to do at least 15 reps on this one, low rest. Tip number three. Now this one is gonna be very controversial, but don't train your obliques with weights. I don't know if you've ever seen a lot of athletes, football, basketball, whatever it is, they have a pretty good physique, right? They're big and everything. But there's something about their physique that it's off and it's a waist. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but their waist can be pretty large sometimes, especially here. But it's not large because of fat, it's large because of muscle. And that's because they have to train their core, their obliques for stability and everything in the sport. So they train their obliques with weights, which makes the waist grow. And if you wanna be aesthetic, one of, if not the most important thing, is to have a small waist. So if you train your obliques with weights, your waist is gonna get bigger. That's just science. If you train your obliques, this part is gonna get larger and we don't want everyone a small waist. So the only thing you should train for abs is your, here, the center of your abs. So hanging leg raises, plank, sit-ups, but don't train your obliques, trust me. Tip number four. A lot of you all are not gonna like this one, but train legs. First of all, I think that big legs are very, very aesthetic. I have big legs, it's probably one of my best points. I just think they're very aesthetic. Also, when I look at them in someone else, if they have big legs, it makes the physique so much better. And secondly, training legs, especially if you turn them heavy on squats, hip thrusts, increase testosterone. And testosterone can help you develop your whole body. So if you train legs, your whole upper body is gonna grow too. If you wanna have this benefit, you gotta train them hard. And I mean like really, really hard. So always start your leg day with a form of squat, whether it's the hack squat, or Smith machine squat or normal squats, make sure it's pretty heavy and then you can move on to leg press, leg extension, whatever machine is in your gym, 
I just make sure that on these second and third exercises that the volume is pretty high, the intensity is high. I always say that leg day is a different sport. Like, it's completely different than training any other muscle group. To train legs, it's completely another thing. You gotta be a dog when training legs. I'm gonna be afraid of the pain. Embrace the pain. Trust me, this is probably one of the most important tips. Don't skip leg day. Please don't do it, please. Tip number five. Now, a lot of you all are not gonna like this one either. And it's to stop doing bench press. Now, before you go to the comments, say, yo, Arnold used to do bench press and he does bench press and he does bench press, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, okay? Bench press is a good exercise, for sure. But there are so many better alternatives for chest. When I switched to dumbbells instead of barbell, my chest blew up. And I'll give you three reasons why you should stop doing bench press and change to something else. The first reason is that the range of motion is limited. You can't go as down as you want. While with dumbbells, you can decide how down you go. Even with your machine, you can set it up and you can stretch the chest properly and that will help a lot with growth. So that's the first reason the range of motion is very limited. The second reason is that the bench press is a very injury prone exercise. It's much easier to injure yourself on bench press than there is on any other chest exercise. I used to ruin a lot of my chest workouts just because I had some small pain in my shoulder while doing bench press and then the whole workout was gonna be trash. Or you can even have serious injuries with bench press and obviously if you train for aesthetic, injury is probably one of the worst things that can happen to you. So that's the second reason it's pretty easy to injure yourself on bench. The third reason and that's the main reason why I stopped doing bench press is that you have a poor mind-muscle connection. Mind-muscle connection is feeling the muscle when you train it. And me personally on bench, even if my form was pretty good, I never felt my chest really working. I never got a pump from bench press and I didn't feel the contraction on every rep. While on dumbbells or on a machine, I feel my chest working, I get a good pump and more growth. So instead of starting your chest day or your push day with bench press, try to start it with incline dumbbell press. So you focus on your upper chest first, you can use dumbbells, you're gonna thank me one day. If you try it and you don't like dumbbells, it's okay to stick to bench press, it's still a good exercise. But in my opinion, dumbbells are a much better alternative, so give it a try. Now, tip number six, which I said it's the most important one, and I highly believe it's the most important one, and it can change completely your physique, the way you train, and the way you feel your muscle when you train. And the tip is to do slow and controlled movements. I cannot stress this enough. Doing every single rep of every single set of every exercise, slow and controlled, will completely skyrocket your results in the gym. Obviously, to do that, you will have to lower the weight on your exercises. So leave your ego at the door. You have to treat every single rep like it's the only one you're doing. Focus on every rep one at a time. So at least two second negative, even four, even five, Go very slow on the negative, feel the muscle, feel the burn, embrace the pain, and then explode up for the positive part of the movement. Trust me, you'll feel every single rep. And if you do 10 to 15 reps like that, slow for two, three sets, your muscles are gonna blow up. The mind-muscle connection will be much better, the pump will be much better, and so on. Everything will be much better, and your results will be much better. You still lift pretty heavy. I'm not saying lifting heavy is not important. Lifting heavy is very important. You should not lift light weight. But you should pick a weight which you can do 10 to 15 reps with perfect form, slow negative and everything. Don't pick a weight that you have to do it fast. It's okay to do maybe the first exercise like sometimes squats and don't do it super slow or deadlifts or any other exercise. But 80% of your movements has to be with a slow and controlled form. It's such a game changer, it completely changed my game. So guys, these are my six tips on how to train for aesthetic if your goal is to have an aesthetic physique. If you want to know more and you want to be followed by me 24-7 as your coach, you can shoot me a DM or you can send me an email. My email is going to be linked down below. If these tips helped you, this is everything for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.